I am I am ready for the pain. Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Hey Sunshiners, Alexis Sunshine 83 right here. So today's video, I am just so excited because we are talking about my favorite thing to talk about, which is shoes because I am filming an updated shoe collection video. If you didn't know, I've actually filmed two shoe collection videos in the past couple of years and I recently got a comment asking to film an updated shoe collection video and my goodness, um, I, I, I'm taking that as an excuse to just chat about my shoes because I love shoes. I have a lot of pride, honestly, in my shoe collection. I believe like 50% of the shoes that I own are secondhand. So I will also be sharing my tips and tricks when it comes to thrifting shoes because I'm like a proper size nine and a half, but I can be a nine, I can be a 10, and I can also be an 11. So thrifting shoes can be quite difficult. So I will be sharing that. I also have all of my Doc Martens and also I've added cowboy boots to my collection. So yeah, I'm very excited to talk about all of them. So this video is gonna be a chatty one. Um, so get comfortable and let's get into it. First category I'm gonna be going into is sneakers. And I really don't have that many sneakers. I kind of have had like a eh, relationship when it comes to sneakers. And actually in my last shoe collection video, I said that sneakers were boring and I got someone very upset in the comments, but they just don't do the same thing to me that boots do. And obviously everyone's like, preferences is completely different. But the first sneakers are my Converse high tops, the most classic sneaker that you can get. And actually I have fallen back in love with these. I think I've had them for the past like two years ish. And even though I like, it's not that I wasn't wearing them. I just was maybe just not wearing them as much, but I have been wearing these all the time recently in like the past three months, mainly because my go-to shoe was the Doc Martin 1461 quad, which we will get into. Um, and it has like quite a chunky like um, platform. And I ended up falling in those back in the summer, which sounds so silly that like I've been a little nervous to wear those as often as I used to because I had fallen. So I've been actually surprisingly opting for flatter shoes, which it pains me as well. I loved platforms so much. When it's a platform in a boot, I don't feel as like nervous about because like the boot has my like ankle in, in a hold. Whereas if it's like just a normal, say like Oxford shoe, like my ankle can roll and fall and that, that kind of thing. So yeah, these have become my new, honestly, like go-to shoe. Oh, I guess I probably should also say sizing. I have these in a size nine and a half. The next pair are kind of just like my go-to sneaker when I like kind of can't be bothered to tie up the Converse because that is one thing. I hate tying my shoes so much. And so having, oh, bleh, having these New Balance uh, 624s, these are probably, these ones are my most worn sneakers or I guess shoe if I'm gonna be honest, just because I quickly throw them on and I'm out the door. Also, they are quite comfy. These were my very first pair of New Balances and I mainly use them for working out. And I actually just got a different pair of workout shoes. So these ones are more like, I'm going on a walk or I've worn them to Disneyland multiple times. They are a size 10. These sneakers are pretty boring. <laughs> um, uh, I, they're just workout shoes, honestly. I did not care about the way that they looked. All I cared about is like, it would be comfortable when I work out and with the type of workouts I do. I don't know what they are called. Obviously, I will try to link, if I can, any shoes in the description, but they are also in a size 10. And yeah, I've been working out in them um, since I got them like four months ago and they are, Great. If you are new to my channel, number one, you should subscribe <laughs> right down below. But also number two, you will notice a theme that I have a shoe preference color of black or white. When we get into the boots, that's where it gets a little bit more spicy and exciting with color. But I mean, a majority, at least like 80% of my shoes are black and white, especially when it comes to sneakers. I really like them, honestly, just in white. I really don't like black sneakers, like full on black sneakers interesting enough, um, but 
these are the Nike Air Force One Sages. And I've talked about how I don't really wear these very often. And definitely I had bought these because they were super trendy back in 2019. These were like the it girl type of sneaker and they are fine. I just really don't wear them super often and they do have some discoloring on them, but I definitely want to clean them up and still wear them. Like I think they're one of those shoes where it is nice to just kind of have. I also do have them in a size 10. The next category is sandals and I only have one pair of sandals. Uh, I technically have two pairs of sandals, but I can't find my other pair of sandals, um, but they're just like these basic ones from Target that I just wear when I go to the beach. But the only other pair I have are these Doc Martin Blair sandals. And personally, I do not like showing my feet nor my toes. I have crooked toes and I also dislocated one of my big toes when I was younger. So my toes were already crooked and then it's even more crooked. So I'm a little bit insecure about it, although it literally doesn't matter. Honestly, like who cares about that? But I have been getting over my insecurity, I will say, ever since I actually bought these, I believe back in 2019, because they are super cute. And it was like the first time where I actually felt okay with not wearing like closed toe shoes. Like I didn't mind my toes showing just because they're a really cute sandal in my opinion. I have these in a size nine. I have worn these honestly to the ground as well. Like there's definitely some like just wear on them. I wore them in Hawaii. I wear them every single summer. They have given me blisters once. Other than that, they have been totally great. Talking about Doc Martens, um, I have, okay, I don't really know what to call this category if I'm gonna be honest because they're flats but like also um, like my quads, technically these are flats, but they're platform in a way. Um, and then I have another pair, but that is a flat. And yeah, I'm just gonna call them flats. The first pair are the Doc Martin 1461 quads. And I also have these in a size nine. These had been, again, my like favorite go-to shoe for probably the past two years until I fell in them um, in the summer. And I don't know what it is now. Every time I wear them, I just feel like I'm gonna roll my ankle and I'm gonna get over it. So I will be keeping these. I will say I am a little um, regretful that I actually had the 1461 Doc Martens that I think I had gotten on Poshmark. And I ended up selling them on Poshmark because I was like, oh, well, these are basically the same thing and I'd rather wear these, whereas I kind of wish I still owned them. So then I also had a flat version, but it's okay. I ended up getting kind of like a flat version with the next shoe I'm gonna talk about, but I still recommend them. I really love them. When it comes to breaking in Doc Martens, I'm not very helpful with that because I feel like I haven't had too like difficult time when it comes to breaking in Doc Martens. I mean, wearing these for six hours, yeah, I can feel it. Um, but I don't know, it just, it wasn't that intense with wearing these. I haven't gotten any blisters with them, but if you are nervous about breaking in Doc Martens, highly recommend buying them on Poshmark, Depop, getting them secondhand so that they are already broken in. Something that, that I like to personally do when it comes to not only just Doc Martens, but if I'm looking for a very particular style of shoe, it's a name brand and I'm trying to find it secondhand, I will actually just Google the name and like the size that I'm looking for and it will bring up eBay links. It'll bring up Macari Poshmark. With the next pair, I think I definitely, they are going to be the Doc Martens that I actually have quite trouble um, breaking in. And they are the Doc Martens, sorry, I like have the box because I did just buy them. I've been wanting the Doc Martin Adrian loafers for the longest time, but I kind of have a complicated relationship with loafers because I had loafers in the past, but they were too big. And so I just thought like loafers were an impractical shoe because they would just slide off. And I thought that's like how loafers were. I don't, it doesn't make any sense. Originally, I was going to try to get these on Poshmark, but I had seen so many TikToks of people talking about like irregularities when it comes to sizing. And some people were saying like going down 
two sizes from your Doc Martin size. So I figured instead of buying them on Poshmark and then potentially not actually being the right size that I would go down to the Doc Martin store. And I was going back and forth about getting the Adrian loafers with the yellow stitching and then also without the yellow stitching. And I had tried the ones with the yellow stitching, which obviously is the one that I bought. And I tried them in my normal size nine and they fit me perfectly. And then I tried the Adrian loafers without the yellow stitching in a size nine and they were way too big like it was very interesting even like the width of it was completely different and so then I tried those in a size eight and that was way too small so I don't know if it's just the way that those ones are made differently than the ones with the yellow stitching but I'm so happy I did that because I probably would have bought those and then the sizing would have been completely off because they don't do half sizes whereas these they just fit me perfect and honestly I really like the yellow stitching ones you can like see that they are Doc Martens and I, I love them so so much but I can tell these are gonna be they're gonna be trouble to break in um but I am I am ready for the pain now on to my heels which I mean my heels aren't even like proper heels um because I have completely flat feet there's absolutely no arch so I have to be very careful when it comes to heels and like the incline because it it goes to a certain point and then like it it does it, it will not I cannot walk in it yeah just to show you an example these um are some of my heels which obviously it's like barely anything these are actually some jeffrey campbell little white heels i don't remember exactly what they are called but they are in a size 10 and i actually got these from thread up which if you are not on the thread up shoe game get on it they honestly have some amazing gems and here's what i do when it comes to honestly thrifting on thread up in general but especially for shoes depending on where you live timing may be different but basically what i do and maybe this is a little bit excessive i will go on thread up every single morning at like 6 30 a.m i wake up at 6 a.m so like i'll have like my morning coffee and i'll be on like thread up and i go to their shoes and i go to newest arrivals and i don't know if they like upload all of their new stuff in the morning but they usually have new shoes and I basically just go through all the pages until I get to the page that I saw the day before and that's how honestly I'm able to find shoes on ThreadUp and the great part about getting shoes on ThreadUp is you can return them. They do have a fee where they'll like take it out of it for like restocking and like shipping back. So that's a little bit annoying, but obviously if you get some on Depop, you can't return them if they don't fit. So it does make it nice that you do have that option. And I probably have been looking at these for the past like eight months. I ended up not getting them and kind of waiting. And then one day was on thread up and they had them. I will say, I think a size nine and a half would have been better. The size 10 fits me, but it is a little bit loose. So that's the only thing that I'm kind of like disappointed in myself um, that I probably should have just returned them, but I thought they were fine. Again, they still fit and I still wear them, but I think a nine and a half would have been a perfect fit. Another pair of secondhand heels are from Depop, these tapestry floral ones. And these are probably the shoes I get the most questions about, which totally makes sense. They are so unique, so fun. And these are originally from the brand Shop Pesh, and these are the Teza shoes. I originally really wanted the blue floral design, but I cannot find them secondhand. And personally, I did not want to buy from the brand directly just because they don't make all of their shoes over a size eight and a half but they did make these in a size eight and a half and above but you have to wait like a month like they don't have them ready to be shipped or anything and i have seen some like questionable stuff about the actual brand so i really didn't want to buy them new from them and i'm actually really surprised i was able to honestly find the style of shoe on depop especially in my size i believe these are in a size nine I was going back and forth so much because I was like, oh my gosh, what if they're too small? Like, I don't know. And the seller was amazing. Like going back and forth with me, they were like on the same size and they 
they do literally fit perfectly i love them so much i actually had some jeffrey campbell ones that i had thrifted i think on poshmark in black that are really similar style those were like way chunkier and like way bigger and i just could not walk in them they are beautiful but i could not walk in them whereas these i don't know they just like are smaller in the chunkiness aspect of it. Also, something I really loved is you don't actually like have to undo the buckle every time you put them on. Maybe some people would hate this, um, but it just like hooks in. I'm not showing this perfectly. It just hooks in and it doesn't come off or okay, it came off right there, but it doesn't come off when it's on your foot because obviously it's like stuck on your foot and I just hate, again, tying my shoes and having to unbuckle and buckle things. It just is very annoying. Some higher, probably the highest heeled shoe that I own maybe um, are these Circus NY by Sam Ed Edelman. I can never say the name. Uh, I don't remember what these are called, um, but I've had them for the past couple of years and I believe I got these in a size 10 and I think a size nine and a half would have been better. They are slightly too loose on my feet, but overall they're very cute. Another pair of white heels actually are these. Um, I believe I got these on ASOS back in 2020. I literally had bought them because I didn't own any white heels and it was when I was doing like trying different wedding dress videos um, and a lot of people were, were upset that I didn't own any white shoes. So I had got these then and I really like these. Honestly, they are very, very comfy. It's like just the perfect amount of heel where I can wear it casually. My last pair of heels, I actually thrifted from Savers, which I feel like Finding shoes, like good shoes at the thrift store is very difficult. Again, for me personally, finding them secondhand on like Depop and Poshmark is much easier, still difficult, but trying to find them at the thrift store, especially like in good condition, because you will find, I, I personally have thrifted some shoes that were really, really cute, but like they were falling apart and I wasn't paying attention. And so these are like in perfect, perfect condition. They're originally from Michael Kors. They are in a size 10 and they fit me really nice. I really love a buckle, even though I talked about how I hate like buckling a strap on a shoe. I do really like the look of it. I think it's just a fun little detail, little accent. Okay, now on to my boots. I'm really excited. I like, I, I love boots. Um, boots are my weakness, which the first pair I'm gonna start out with are these. These have been in both of my shoe collection videos. I don't remember when I thrifted them, maybe 2019 or something like that. Um, I found them randomly at a Goodwill, which I feel like is such a find. Uh, they are originally American Eagle and I believe they are, yes, in a size 10. They are slightly too big. I originally had bought some inserts but I bought them in a size nine and I was like, no, I need a size 10 to be able to make these just like fit a little bit better. And then I bought another shoe insert and again, accidentally in a size nine. So I've yet to like buy a size 10 insert, but I really need to because I can't really wear these because my foot slips and slides inside of them, which is really sad. But again, all I need is an insert to help with that. And I just, I don't know why. I kept buying the wrong size insert. Very simple, okay, it's not similar to the last pair, but like kind of, mm, okay, not really at all. I have the Unif Parker boots. These I got on Macari. I had been wanting them for quite a long time, but I feel like either I couldn't find them in my size on Depop or something, or honestly, I don't remember, but these were another pair where I just Googled Unif Parker Boo in a size 10 and a Macari listing had popped up. I really love this style of boo. I just, I love this front kind of detail. Let me just show you what I meant that they were kind of similar. Do you see like the front of them? Do you see it? The only thing I will say is these are the most uncomfortable shoe I have ever worn in my life. It feels like I'm walking on cement. So I really need to get an insert or something because these are almost unwearable for how uncomfortable they are. So I'm I'm trying because I would love for these to be just like an easy like 
boot to wear but they are so gosh darn uncomfortable. I very much prefer the type of like rounded toe of the Unifan like American Eagle ones. I'm not really like a pointy toe type of person, a square toe a little bit, um, but I really like the, the round toe. These ones are more of a square toe. They are the cow print um, boots by Aloha's and I actually was gifted these like two years ago and they're a really nice boot. I actually had two other colors in this type of boot that I have said goodbye to. Um, I don't wear them super often if I'm gonna be honest. I much prefer the chunky kind of like 90s type of boot over something like this but it's still I think a classic and timeless like silhouette of boot and also I love cow print. Um, I mean cow print boots like how amazing how fantastic i think i have them in yeah i have them in a size 10 they are good i know i just said that i really like the round toe boot but this next pair i actually like i love the silhouette it's honestly my perfect easy simple black boot like it's it is just perfect and they are originally by by far if you were a best dressed um viewer then you know that she had these shoes but in velvet and ever since she had them i was like oh my gosh these are like the dream just like simple black boot they have a little heel nothing too intense but they're like 400 dollars. um so i was like okay probably never gonna happen and then i was doing a sponsorship with thread up and when i was going on to get my thread up items i saw these and i was like oh my goodness i can't believe i am finding them second hand they are a size 40 which i was very scared about the sizing just because it's such a narrow type of boot that i was like oh my gosh a size 40 is not it's just not gonna fit usually for my feet a 41 is perfect the last boots that i had were a 41 i just decided to try them out especially because i was getting them gifted and they fit me perfect i'm actually shocked how perfect they fit me if i hadn't been doing a sponsorship with thread up i still would have bought them like a hundred percent i think they were like 120 i don't really remember but again they're usually like 300 or 400 dollars and i don't even think that they are sold anymore these next boots i just recently thrifted from goodwill if you've seen i think it was my last yeah it was my video from wednesday i ended up getting these boots they're originally from the company wolverine and i think they were like 24 dollars. i'm gonna be honest I think they're kind of a regret. I know, like it makes me so sad to say that. They fit me really, really well. And actually I had mentioned in that video that kind of like this leather part was digging into my leg and so many people recommended amazing things to try. And I had gotten, I think these like moleskin patches or something like that and put it in there. And now it doesn't poke me. It's not uncomfortable or anything. It's just that, I don't know. There's something about them that I'm not in love with. Even looking at them now, I'm like, oh, it's really cute. But when I put them on, I'm just not sure. These boots have been in both of my shoe collection videos, so I'm not gonna talk about them for too long. But these just white, nice little boots. Honestly, I really love them. I love the look of them. They are slightly too big. They are in a UK 8, which I believe is a US 10. They're originally from Public Desire. I believe when I originally got them, I just got them from ASOS. I don't recommend uh public desire shoes honestly even if like getting them secondhand they just like aren't really made that well at least these particular ones i mean they're still doing good they're cute but like i can just tell the difference between like a good you know like well-made boots versus these but they are really nice for styling i would love to get maybe another like white boot that's made a little bit better. Apparently I forgot to talk about these boots when I was going through them, but these are some thrifted boots that are originally from Tommy Hilfiger. I believe they're as long as nine and a half. Uh, yeah, I found them at the thrift store last year. Super cute. Again, finding like good shoes at specifically the thrift store is such a rarity. And I feel like they were probably like maybe $10. Ooh, okay, now on to my Doc Martin boots. I'm putting it in the same like boot category, but the next three pairs are all Doc Martin boots. And the first pair I recently got from eBay. These are the Doc Martin Jaden Maxes and the color Oxblood. And if you've seen my um, previous shoe collection video, you would know that I used to have some Doc Martin Jaden Maxes in black. 
and I loved them, but I also have my Dr. Martin Jadens, and I just felt like the Jaden Maxes and the Jadens are so similar, and I had them both in black that I always just went for my normal Jaden, so I ended up saying goodbye to them. But then I saw the Oxblood color, this like deep maroon, just to I guess show like the difference in um, platform. And you would have thought, since I talked about falling and like platforms, that this would be a little bit too much, but no, this is like the perfect platform or like chunkiness and also these are heavy like i'm i'm not falling these have been sold out online honestly i don't even know how long they came on my radar about six months ago and i have been searching for them in a size nine because i'm a size nine in all doc martens and i've not been able to find them like these were so difficult to find i continued to google Doc Martin Jaden Maxes in Oxblood in a size nine. And I would probably Google that every single day, I'm gonna be honest. Finally, somebody was selling them on eBay for I think $150. I offered 120 because they are damaged. They do have like this cut right there. Then the seller countered 125. I feel like that's a, a reasonable price, especially because I've been searching for these for six months. So. I bit the bullet and I got them. And what's really nice is they're completely broken in. Like they are nice and worn in a good way. Like not in a bad way where they're like too worn. They are the perfect amount of wornness where they're very comfortable. I'm gonna go quickly through these just because I've had them since 2018. I've already talked about them loads in my previous shoe collection videos, but these are just the Doc Martin Jadens. I think they are very comfortable. Again, with the whole breaking in thing, I don't know. I just, it, they don't bother me. I've worn them in the UK multiple times. I've worn them to Disneyland. They are 100% my like, favorite Doc Martens that I own and I recommend to anyone that wants to get into Doc Martens, just get the Jadens. The last Doc Martens I own are the Doc Martin Chelsea Maxes. I, I don't know about these. I've had them for the past two years, I think. And I originally got them because again, when I originally had the Jaden Maxes, I got rid of them because I was like, oh, I basically already have them because of the Jadens, but I still wanted the Maxes because I really liked the platform. So I was like, oh, I don't have any Chelsea boots. I'll get them in the Chelsea Maxes. And I just, I don't know if it's because they are so nice that I don't wear them or if it's because I really love the look of, um, laces and this like i just don't love the look of it but also i do really like them i j i don't know i've been going back and forth if i was going to say goodbye to them but i think i am going to keep them and just push myself to wear them again they are just so nice <laughs> that for some reason i just never end up wearing them moving on over to my cowboy boots which the first pair i had gotten from thread up the red up has so many cowboy boots so many cowboy boots i did say i don't like pointy like toes um and i think that's also why i hated cowboy boots for such a long time but now i don't know there's something about it being in a cowboy boot that i don't mind these ones are from matisse or something like that i don't yeah Matisse, they are in a size nine and a half. I will say these are a little bit more snug than my other cowboy boots. Not terrible, but like it's, uh, it, they're, they're a little tight. The next pair is actually what started my love for cowboy boots, funny enough. I, I don't, again, know what it is about these. I have been looking at them since I think like early 2021 was when they originally became quite popular. And I was like, oh, those are interesting, but I don't like cowboy boots. Um, I'm just gonna like put them in the back of my mind. Fast forward to maybe like three months ago. So almost two years later. And I was like, you know what? I've been like eyeing these for quite a long time. I feel like now I'm not just buying them because they were a trend. Whereas when I originally kind of like saw them, they were very, very trendy. And I think especially when it comes to shoes, I need to kind of like let them settle, really think about it. Again, let it marinate for me to figure out if I'm just buying it because it's a trend. And then if it's not trendy anymore, like, will I still like it? And that kind of thing. I've talked about all that in some previous videos, but 
I was like, no, I, I, I really, really like these. And they are the Jeffrey Campbell <gasps> green metallic cowboy boots. They are another like one of my favorite boots that I own because they are so unique. They are so in your face. I know that they're not everyone's cup of tea, but I just, I love them so much. Some less loud cowboy boots are these floral ones and they are originally from Circus and Y, Sam Endelman. But I really am happy I got them in black and white. I feel like they were the perfect like intro to me, like wearing cowboy boots and kind of like, yeah, testing the waters. And also I just really like the design on them. I think they're really unique and they're a really nice fit. I got them in a size nine and a half and they fit me perfectly. The last pair of cowboy boots was actually gifted by my friend Margo. She had sent me like a couple of thrifted goodies just, just because she's nice. Honestly, I was like, why are you doing this? And she was like, these just remind me of you. I want to send them to you. She sent me some like proper cowboy boots. Like these are like cowboy boots. These ones are a really nice kind of like neutral, easy. I feel like I have a good range of cowboy boots, honestly, from the like fiery red to the metallic green to the black and white to now the brown. Like there's a lot of different varieties depending on what kind of look I am going for. And the last category is lawn boots. And as you can see, I have my first pair here, which are these red lawn boots. I got them from ThreadUp back in, I think 2021. And these were, these were Honestly, my only colorful boots and colorful shoes that I owned for the longest time, and I'm obsessed with these. They are, oh my gosh, what brand are they? I will put it on the screen because I really don't know, um, but they are in a size 10. I talked about them in my last shoe collection video, so I'm not gonna talk about them too much, but I love them. I've said so many of my shoes are my favorite shoe. And I was about to say like this next pair is one of my favorite shoes that I own. And I think that just goes to show you that I think every single pair of shoes that I own is my favorite shoe because I love all of them. Uh, but I have the Demonia Shaker 100s. I actually got these from Poshmark back in 2021 and like look at how fun they are. Just another little tip, I had been searching for the Demonia Shaker 100s on Depop and Poshmark and Google and like was not finding them in my size. I believe I was looking for them in a size 10 and yeah, I just could not find them anywhere secondhand. And then I spelt them differently. Like I think I accidentally spelt them incorrectly when I was searching on Poshmark and this listing came up that called them Domania Shaker 100s and they are actual Demonias. Like it's not like they were knockoffs or something. They were actual Demonia Shakers, but the seller just misspelled them or maybe it like auto-corrected. And I was like, oh, those are, those are the ones that I have been looking for. So I highly recommend these. Honestly, they're so comfy. They're so fun. Surprisingly, also, I don't feel nervous about falling in these. I don't know. It feels very secure. The next lawn boot I've had in, I think only in the back of one of my videos because they just recently came in the mail and I already have gotten comments about them. Even though I didn't even wear them in the video, they were just in the background. People already saw them and were like, oh my gosh, like what are those boots? And they are these long tan Steve Madden boots. These are the Fanatic boots. I have them in a size 10. These were another pair that I ended up going down to a Nordstrom's to try on different sizes because I wasn't sure if I was going to be a nine and a half or a 10. And I tried the nine and a half and the 10 and the 10 fit me just like way better. Like you've seen, I don't own a lot of tan boots and I just had visions with like outfits with long tan boots and I just had ideas. And so I was like, you know what? I feel like this would be a really nice addition to my shoes and my boots. And I really, really love them. I always see those really nice kind of like vintage style boots on Depop that are like 300 and $400. So I'm really happy I was able to find like a similar style one that wasn't that much. Alrighty, we have made it to the end of the video. I have literally been talking talking about shoes for the past three hours and it has been a really great time. Let me know in the comments down below which pair of shoes was your favorite. I'm really, I'm really curious. <laughs> if you would like to see my face again or to see any of these shoes styled in videos, uh, then make sure you hit subscribe right down below and hit the little bell to be notified every time I make a new video. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram, which is alexandshine83. I will see you in my next video and I hope you have a super sunny day. Bye.
Oh, I did forget technically to include my Crocs. But these are like house slippers. I only wear them in the house. Like when I get home and I take off my shoes, I put these on. Um, so they don't really count, but technically I own Crocs. <laughs>